Welcome, everyone. My name is Yip. I'm one of the co-founders at Unit Network, and we're on a mission to solve the wealth inequity problem of this world. Or in other words, we are here to support the United Nations Agenda 2030 to become a reality by earlier than 2030. Sustainable development goals is very important in the way we think about the economy of the future. I've spent a third of my career crafting winning strategies for the world's largest banks and insurance companies that wanted to enter a world of digital transformation. Um, another third of my career I spent in studying and exploring the power of the mind, understanding how consciousness and being aware of ourselves can help us build a world of peace and prosperity. And now in the third phase of my career, I'm merging, using technology to merge both worlds and crafting what we call the economy of the future, the token economy, which in a sense is the evolution of the internet. When you think about the internet, how it was in the beginning, it was internet of information, very costly to get access to a library of data that humanity had produced. But all of a sudden there was this free access and all of us can upskill and gain access and change the world at very low cost. Then we received the internet of communication, Web2. All of us are now in the means of connecting with the world's leading minds from directly peer to peer without significant cost. So wow, that was another room for a leap in knowledge for humanity. And we are at the verge of entering Web3 revolution. Web3 revolution is the internet of value. That's a world in which value can be transmitted from A to B in the most cost efficient way. So how can we actually make that world a, re a reality? So we think there's two different ways to contribute to that economy in which everyone can participate, in which collaboration is the winning strategy instead of pure competition. And one skill that one really needs is the skill of well-being. What is well-being? Well-being is made of the understanding of what actually is being. Being is a skill set in which you combine the awareness of present moment and all the resources you have in your sphere of being into what you make, um, into decision making, right? So what you want to do is not only thinking about what is the most rational decision, but also what is the most in emotionally intelligent decision and how can I make a wise decision when I integrate both worlds. And then secondly, well-being consists of the word well. So the question is, all these change makers who are here to shape that economy of the future, how can they actually tap into their source of inspiration? What inspires them? What is bigger than themselves? What is something they see valuable? And that requires an understanding of what is the source of my inspiration. Understanding in itself is actually a word that is made of two parts, standing under something, right? So we need to understand what is valuable to us if we want to shape a world of internet of value a world shaped by people who understand and see very clearly what is the value that they stand up for and that, re that they are ready to uphold in every moment of their lives. So that about the well-being. Well-being is also very important because we know that when economies shift from, for example, Web 2 to Web 3, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of disruption, there's a lot of um, letting go of people because organizations have to transform. So we need that skill to be grounded, to see what are our spots, what are our blind spots, to be able to be happy and see what is important and then act upon it, making rational, wise decisions. Secondly, what we think about the internet of value is you not only need well-being, but you actually need a world in which we hear the voices of everyone. I mentioned earlier, we speak about the solving the wealth inequity problem or extreme wealth inequity problem. One way to do that very efficiently is to enhance equitability, the ability for equity. Ability, the skills, like mindfulness, for example, as mentioned before, the skill to understand the technology of the future, the skill to do, to understand or to be literate and fluent 
in having conversations about what will transform our everyday lives. Because we are actually talking about a world in which, as today, everyone has an email address, everyone has a website, everyone has a WhatsApp account. In five to seven years from now, we're talking about a world in which everyone will have a wallet, everyone will have a token, one or two or three different tokens. Everyone will have a stake in each other's different ideas, projects, businesses. But if we want a world of equity, we actually need half of the population or all of the population to contrib contribute, not only like 5% of the world. Right, so what is the solution to that? We have to create foundations for learning. And what, what I personally think we need to move towards is a world of zero exclusivity. Zero exclusivity means that we invite all those who are today not in touch with understanding the technology of the future to join us. And that means, for example, half of the population, when you think about leaders in technology, there's only five to 10% female representation. And this is not a world that will lead to a balanced economy in which everyone is a stakeholder in that economy. But also knowing that the world is moving at such rapid speed every day that we miss out on helping those who are not yet represented in the ecosystem to onboard means that every day the gap grows bigger. And the gap is currently a gap of wealth creation. People who are not in the early stages of an industry as it emerges and contribute to the value creation, those people will not be able to seize the, the value that is coming later. Right? So if we want to work towards a world in 2030 in which we have an equitable society, today, as we're speaking, we actually need to have everyone participate. And those who have not yet participated and are not represented in the value creation period of our, of our industry, those actually need to enter and grow at a faster rate than the industry growth rate. Because else, the gap will grow, grow bigger with every day. So my call to action for today is, please, let's all join into that movement or that really that passion for Web3 to form a world in which we have people who are skilled to deal with anxiety and stress in a way that they keep the mind calm and to support the system's education, literacy programs for all others to be able to onboard the economy as fast as possible so that we can create a world in which every single voice is represented and all the technologies and all the applications and all the wonderful businesses that emerge of the internet of the future are shaped and created by all of us and not only by a small piece of society. Thank you so much.